analysis on the game here. Uh, mm -hmm. Stream is live. We're here. Ice We're cream. out here. Welcome everybody to the second round series between the Saskatoon Blues and the Surrey Hitmen. This is a series between the two seeded Surrey Hitmen who actually have a bye to the second round. This is their first playoff series of the postseason. And the Blues are coming off of a demanding defeat over the four seeded Milwaukee Muskies. Absolutely just outplay them in every facet of the game and kick that team out of the playoffs. And most of them ended up retiring after that series. So we're, we're <laughs> going to see we're gonna see how this series goes if the Blues can carry that momentum. Um, it's been a little bit since the Surrey Hitmen have played a game at all. Um, most of them not even logging on the server. Robbie Ruckus not logging on since the migration. He's actually had trouble getting on the server. He's using an alt right now to even be here for his team. He's playing on one of Squid's alts, Scrin. Him in the chat, he just joined. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. This Blues team has been very active with their scrimming and practicing as a team. They, uh, they're they here to win. They're here to make it to the finals and uh, play against Halifax in the finals. Um I think this series is going to come down to the star power of both teams, but also the depth is going to come in huge. Robbie Ruckus is going to have to put on a performance for the Hitmen if they want to win this series. But um, also their depth is going to have to come into play too because they don't really have secondary scoring that's like been super consistent this series. Like, Not just at the beginning of the season looked pretty good. Um, Emderville has shown flashes, but he peaked back in like S11. So we're going to have to see how that goes. Uh, Blues currently practicing at their own rank. We're going to get a start in around four minutes here unless uh, any team uses their five, which I don't think they should. Even four. No, no, no. We're, we're not going to make the Hitmen do anthems for second round. They're, they're, they, <laughs> they, will, they will troll. It is not worth the time or effort to get them to stand still for a minute. Um... Yeah, any thought? Any any of you guys have any thoughts? I know Gorelli was commenting the uh, the pregame scrims that the Blues have been playing. Creeper hasn't looked too hot. Yeah, I'm I'm currently in a scrim with uh, the Blues right now, playing goalie. Um, and Creeper's currently giving up eight goals. Um, he hadn't looked hot today at all. I played some scrims with him all day. Um, just hasn't looked good today compared to what he usually plays. And so it'll be interesting to see if he can perform like he usually does, or if he's going to play like he is right now. Yeah. If, he is right, if he's like he is right now, the Blues might be in some trouble. I uh, I want to point out that both of these goalies are basically playing their rookie season. Well, no, they literally are. Fobosauce hasn't played consistent minutes since S10, I believe, with the Vancouver Outlaws. And this is his first time on a real contender, his first time in the playoffs. He got brought in after Carey Price went down this season with, uh, well, we'll call it an injury, I, I suppose. Um, he's been out for the rest of the season. His career is basically done as we know it. So he had to you step in. And... Player assistance program. Yes, sir. He, uh, he, he, he got brought in. He hasn't been too bad for the team. He brought them to the second seed. He, they brought it home. Couldn't get that president's trophy, but, you know, unlucky things happen. But, uh, yeah, th this Surrey Hitman team definitely shouldn't be slept on. They've, uh, it's been a little bit since Robbie Ruckus and a lot of them have played. They're going to be a little rusty, but I'm sure by game two, they'll be back into form most teams can get back yeah um i think for this this matchup in particular it's a lot of um it's the hitman is obvious as one of the oldest teams in the league really They're, they've been around since what s9 yeah they've probably played no they played the second most seasons i believe or tied with the bandits if you count the cobras as part of the hitman um yeah, yeah no the the hitman are one of these teams that have just been around for so long they do have a lot of experience on the roster. Robbie Ruckus, a one-time champ do. with the Huskies in S10. He's been around. Emdervell's been around since S7. He doesn't have a ring yet, but he's looking to get one this season. I don't know if he really cares, but he's, he's going to go for it. <laughs> uh, not just, he's one of the newer players on this roster. And I believe that the other, the last one on the roster is Ace Craven, who has been also in and out of BHL around. since I believe S6. He's been a yeah. longtime member of the Minecraft hockey community here. Um, the Blues finally yeah. arriving to Surrey. Just got mm -hmm. off the bus. They're here to play. Just got off their warm up, and uh, we're gonna yeah, get going here in a bus minute. Legs. They they don't they got the bus legs. Um, we we we're gonna get going here though. Uh, I'm looking forward yeah. to a good series. I think it's gonna be uh it's gonna be important how teams manage their stam and match up their lines. I think the Blues their their Roth skill I think can match up or be just as good as the Hitmen. I think it's gonna come down to goaltending. I, I completely yeah. agree. I think it will be the goaltending. Yeah, I think it no, definitely could five. be. Because Forple, Forple's only postseason experience, I did, I can tell you this because I 
looked it up. Uh, two games last season uh, with Panic. Oh, uh, I didn't even know he played. Lost. Oh, yeah, he did play because Lucina was a pedophile. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. Um, yeah, that's right. So, four, yeah, four bulls, uh, two games in the postseason with the Panic. Um, lost both of them. Six, six, seven, save percentage. So not dreadful, but not amazing. Could either. be could be worse. Uh, um, uh, meanwhile, you've got Creeper, who I don't have any stats on because I thought Papperson was playing this series. Um, <laughs> but um, Creeper's been a solid goaltender throughout the year. Um, been a good backbone to our doggy in the NHL. Absolutely dominating. They are easily going to win a cup. Um, you never know. NHL. Second lines actually have to play in playoffs, so you never know. True, but even still, our doggy, our doggy can just do yeah, you know yeah. do stuff while he's on the ice, and then he'll just it, it leaves a cushion for the second liners. Yeah, Anyways, that's irrelevant right yeah, now. Yeah, no, we're we're worried um, about this series. We're gonna stay focused here. Um, looks A-Rack, like Luke is is still at Saskatoon. He's still getting a little more a little more warm up on his own rink there in Sas. Um, I want to keep in looks mind like this bus. This could be the last game a lot of these players play for their current teams. Usually players don't stick around from on their teams for too long, so mm-hmm. um, they're going to have to make the most of it here. We could see players like Emderville leave the BH off to the season like he does every other season. Um, <laughs> same with Robbie Ruckus. Same with, well, no, Robbie Ruckus has never, hasn't retired ever. He's always been here. He, well, no, he hasn't retired ever, but I feel like it's just getting to, it's getting to a point where it's like very much a new... BHL, like all the old players like Robbie Ruckus and whatnot, they just like have been as active as of that, That's how it always goes, though. Once players get into the BHL, they get very stagnant and kind of get inactive, but they're still good. Yeah. They usually stick around for a bit. Like, Arax, he's not the most active player in the world. He's been here since this. He's been here for as long as Robbie, actually. If anything, he you could say he's been here longer. He's been playing in the BHL since his first season after getting drafted. Robbie played a season yeah. in the NAMHL, uh, his draft season. It's um, funny, even players like Luke are starting to look like veterans. Luke's first uh, yeah. BHL season, S11. We're yeah. now in Jasper, the, the thing with Luke is he just doesn't have a ton of experience BHL. playing games. Usually every season he always uh, he misses a lot of games due to inactivity and other commitments. Yeah. But this season he's he been play... good. He's been here for all playoffs. He's a big did impact play player for every team he plays for. He's in with Huskies? He did. He, he did. He played in the uh, first round because I left because I was having a rough day. So I let my team hold it down and they won like 10 nothing against Riptide. It didn't matter. Right. Um, but yeah, we're, we're looking to get started here. We got another three more minutes. Um, I don't really know what else to talk about here. Um, uh, let's let's talk can... about the arena. This this arena is very it's, 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 strange compared I'm to. It yeah, sucks, I'm I'm sucks. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's definitely different. It appeals to a lot I, of the uh, older players it, in the community. It literally, I, I, respect, it literally, I respect the attempt to be different, but it, it doesn't work. It literally looks like you took an ice rink and threw it in the middle of a shopping mall. That's I think it. that was the point. Now there yeah. there are some of those. Yes, uh, I I know I played in a, a mall in St. Louis that has a hockey rink in it. That's actually where the St. Louis Blues have practiced before. Um, I've had the pleasure of playing there, but it just does not work for this arena. No, it really doesn't. Maybe it's the mind. And it also, it, it's maybe also it's the fish tank behind the away team goal. It. it sucks to stream on it. Like when you're when you're like fully zoomed in from the broadcast camera, like you're literally seeing like this big wall which cuts off the uh, far corners it's not great yeah I, I think they need to replace the, they need to build a new arena i agree i, I don't think they but ever will, will moya ever do that them. nope yeah they've had this arena for quite a long time i don't think they're gonna be Plus, changing it's it not exactly soon. it's not exactly like the the build team's act so <laughs> well they've got well, the build now. team He's is sammy the whale so sammy the whale is like the sammy the whale is the build team and usually he's pretty active at building. When we ask him to but do something, he'll do it. Him, honestly. Anyways, um, yeah, Robbie Ruckus definitely the most experienced player, probably of this whole playoffs. Yeah, I mean um, he's got a lot of finals experience, and uh, he's brought a lot of teams yeah. on deeper. Actually, no, I, I capped when I said he's a one-time champ. He's a two-time champ. I forgot about last season because I didn't play. Um, yeah. Yeah, he played. He won with the Highlanders last season. Two rings, lots of finals appearances, lots of deep playoff runs. Um, definitely one of the premier players in the BHL. Claims to be the best player in the BHL and his about me. Interesting take. Um, claims. Claims. Um, but I mean, he, he can back it up at sometimes. He can go off and be a great player. 
I just think uh, he's he's still working on rounding out his game, and he needs to really start seceding on his own to solidify himself yeah. as that status. Because both of his cups is no matter what people want to say about my rings, um, he has not won without a by far super team. True, yeah. I think um, that's one of the other things uh, to consider because, right. like, don't get me wrong, Robbie. Robbie can score. He's he's actually how many goals did he get this season? He got twenty goals this season. <laughs> So All right, we're gonna get going here. To... Luke and Robbie on the faceoff here. Robbie playing forward for the Hitmen. Uh, he's just gonna completely drop his defense. That's how it's been all season. Robbie now bring it to the center of the ice. He's gonna kind of try to cut through. He's gonna get through. Looking for a shot there, and Creeper is gonna be blocked by our doggy. Great chance there by Robbie right at the beginning of the game. And now our doggy with a chance. Our doggy trying to get that shot off. It's gonna be paying away by Robbie. Robbie behind the net, bringing it up now. He's gonna bring it up the boards, battling with our doggy. Robbie. Trying to cut in. And for anybody that's viewing here new, Scrin is Robbie Ruckus. Just a uh, heads up. I'm going to be calling him Robbie throughout the series. It does not feel right to call him Scrin. Here we go. Finn Hockey with a chance there. He's going to fumble it. And Luke's going to recover it. Luke's going to try to bring this up the ice. It's going to get panged by Robbie. He's going to get by, though. Luke with a chance now. Getting the shot off. Off the post. Rebound. Saved by Ace Craven. Fantastic save there to keep the game 0-0. Great ping there by Robbie to clear the zone. But our dog is going to try to keep it. Robbie trying to keep it in. Finn trying to clear it now. Our doggy recovering gets hit there behind the net, but Finn's gonna get it. Finn trying to bring this up the ice. Robbie passing it out to Finn. Finn trying to bring this up himself. He's gonna get taken by Luke. Luke's gonna try to get a shot off here, blocked by Robbie. He's gonna clear it out for Luke. And now Robbie trying to get it out here, hitting it right to our doggy. Robbie trying to get it by Luke. Still not gonna go. Scrin now looking for another shot there. It's not gonna go. Finn's gonna get it. Trying to shoot this. It's gonna go all the way. He's gonna hit the post. Ooh. Creeper has a lot of time to save this, and he's going to. It's gonna get hit up to Luke. Uh, both teams on a pretty low stamina. Marco getting on the ice there for the Hitmen. Marco, aka Emdravel. Finn Hockey still on the ice. Connecting on the ice for the Blues. Their owner and the leading scorer in their franchise history has led this team to all of their success basically in this franchise's um, existence. Uh, fun thing to note, Nick was a was on the Surrey Hitmen last season when they made it to the finals. Now he's going to take that away from them. Pass up here from Marco to Notches. Notches getting on the ice for the first time in this game. Battling with Arax, who also just got out. Shot there by Notches. Going to be a big save by Creeper. Arax passing this up to Nick. Nick's going to recover it. Nick bringing it into the zone. He's going to look to get a shot here from the corner, I believe. Both Hitmen players on it, bunching a little bit. Nick looking to clear this out to his teammate. Notches is going to recover. Notches. In the corner, looking for his teammate. He's going to pass it up for Emdravel, and Emdravel is going to bring it up now. Emdravel, not going to get by Arax as he makes a good pinch and clears that right back into the Hitman zone. Uh, so far, both teams looking very evenly matched. Uh, Nick now bringing this in. He's going to try to get something going. Not going to get through. Konechny, behind the net. Making a good move there, looking to cut to the net, but he's not hey, going to be able to get there in time. A big hit by the Hitman. Playoff hockey here. No P3 there into the zone. Nick. Battling with Notches. Looking to clear this out. He's going to get it by Notches. Now we have a two-on-one here for the Blues. I don't think Eric's is going to keep up with him, though. Nick trying to cut in, but Emdravel with a great ping. One thing to know about this Hitman team is they are very good at pinging. Basically, all of them. They've all mastered the uh, the craft of out-pinging and out-hitting somebody with the puck. Nick's going to get off the ice now. Luke's going to get on. And a weird change for the Blues, but it's going to work out. And looks like we're going to start getting first lines back on the ice. Uh, Notches backing off. He's going to go for a change now. Robbie Ruck is recovering, but our doggy with a chance. Our doggy trying to get by Ace Craven. It's not going to go. Ace Craven battling with Luke. It's going to get through. Saved by Creeper, though. Our doggy hitting this up for Luke. Luke trying to get by Robbie, but Robbie's going to make the easy play to the corner and keep this out of the danger zone for the Hitmen. Hitmen haven't really gotten any great chances near the net. All their shots have been P3s from the neutral zone, but those should not be Three slept on. 30 seconds without a whistle. And first yeah we've had a very fast-paced game so far robbie i meant not robbie our doggy trying to get it in um he's gonna battle with robbie but robbie's gonna bring it up now robbie trying to cut by he's gonna get by he's gonna get it in the zone at least he's not gonna get a shot off off that rush but he's gonna try to make a play here our doggy looking to bring this up he's gonna hit it out of the zone right to ace craven ace craven trying to hit it back in and make a play but it's gonna go right to luke luke passing to our doggy our doggy looking to get a shot off here. The rookie shot there. Blocked by Robbie Ruckus. Rebound. He's going to try to get a shot off there. And it's going to be blocked by Ace Craven. And it's going to go right back into the Hitmen zone. And we're going to have a battle here in the corner. Luke now with a chance. Luke cutting in front of the net. He's going to try to curve. He's going to curve right back into the middle. He's not going to get a shot off though. Luke with a great curve there. He's going to get around Emdravel now. Emdravel with Luke on a shot on the rush. 
And it's going to be blocked by four pulse. So right back the other way. Now connecting is going to recover it. Pass over to Luke. Luke with a shot there. It's going to go just wide of the net. I think he passes there. They might have had an easy goal. He just didn't read it. Nick now trying to make a play. Pass out here for the for Airax. I don't know if it was meant for Airax, but it ended up there. Emdervel trying to make a pass out. It's going to be blocked by Airax. Airax puts a stick away for some reason. Interesting maneuver. Now not just on the left side. Shot there. It's going to be pang away by Nick. 10 seconds remaining in the period. Blues have to get a rush quick if they want other chances, period. And Arax is going to try to get it, but it's going to get pang away by Emdervel. And that's going to do it for the period. 0-0, zero, zero, a very tight first period so far. Neither Wait, team has really outplayed no the other. That period. No, that not a single whistle. That is the first time I've seen whistle. that in my time in blocky hockey. Uh, don't skip. I'll be right back. Uh, we're not Luke gonna... had a chance there near the end of the period with about 45 seconds. He had a good shot off. Uh, and the second chance that with a shot that just went wide. Other than that, though, it was just pretty even hockey the whole time. Yes, yeah, so Akuza. He was on blues at one point. Akuza talking nonsense in the chat. He was also on Surrey, yes. He was on Surrey last season and the Blues the season before. What? Obtuse is on the Muskies. He lost to the Blues. Well, Obtuse Boy was on the Muskies. He's probably leaving yeah, this I'm season. Back. I'm back. Like, uh, I, the Muskies are Pittman. a phenomenal BHL team. It's a badass fish. They're, they are a badass fish. That is facts. Shots two on Hitman after one period. I think Hitman definitely had the uh, Hitman definitely had the more dominating uh, possession game. Uh, Blues had a couple. Uh, Blues did have a couple chances. They were dangerous ones. Who, who are you them. calling a budget of two, Sakuza? Gorelli? How is he a budget of twos? Gorelli better than twos, low key. He does not sound like a twos. <laughs> I don't know what a two sounds like. No, he like. doesn't, XL. <laughs> All right, we're going to get going here. 10 seconds before the next period starts. Um, here we go. We're going to have the same lineups. Nothing's going to change here. Hitman aren't going to try to match another line here. And here we go. Robbie versus Luke on the face-off. Our dog, you could have gotten a fob there. He's a little in there. Uh, Robbie now with a chase, and Creeper slides out of the way. That's going to be one nothing for the Hitman. I do not know what Creeper was doing on that play. Um, it's a bad slide by Creeper. That was just an unfortunate breakdown for the Blues. Um, that, that's got to hurt. Can we just have a flashback to the moment where Gorelli said Creeper was looking a bit shaky today? Yeah, that uh, <laughs> that that was rough. That was rough. Um, we're gonna have to see better from him if we if the uh, Blues want to win this. Three seconds into the period, that is pretty crazy. That's a quick goal. That is a quick goal. They needed that, and now the Blues are gonna have to play from behind. And I know exactly how the Hitmen are gonna play this. <laughs> if uh, you've watched any Hitmen games before, you know how they're gonna play their four check for the rest of this game. Not gonna be much pressure yep. going on. Robbie now on the face off. He's going to hit it by Luke. He's going to try to curve with a great curve there. Oh trying God. to get a shot off, but Luke's going to stop that. And now Luke's going to bring it behind his own net. Robbie's actually going to apply pressure here. Surprising. Luke going to try to bring this out, but Robbie's going to steal it from him. Robbie with a cut on the boards. Cutting to the middle. It's going to get cleared away by the Blues. Finn looking for a pass across for his teammate, but Luke's going to recover it. Luke chilling, passing it up for our doggy. Our doggy's going to dump this into the zone. It's going to get hit out by Ace Craven. Ace Craven trying to clear this. Luke with a good play there to stop it. And now Robbie's going to get it back. Robbie behind the net now. Against Luke. Luke trying to cut in the middle. It's not going to go. Still battling. Pass out to Ardoggy. Ardoggy with a shot there. Blocked by Ace Craven. Rebound. That's going to go just wide of the net. Now Ardoggy's going to get it behind. Looking for a Seema. He's going to cut in. Blocked by Ace Craven. Ace Craven. I don't even know what his use I don't even know what his username is. Oh Luke with a shot there and it goes in! 1-1! One, one. Luke with a shot there from the point, and we have a tied game here. Very early very quick response from the blues. They needed that. They needed to get the momentum back, and now Luke is crawling on the bench. What a celebration by Luke. I what like a, the celebration. What a, that was a, that was a great I like play. It. I was a little distracted trying to read Ace Craven's name, but um great pass Craven out there by whoever. It, it looks like I assumed it was our doggy, but there's no assist on the goal, so it probably got hit up by a Hitman player in that case. I don't exactly know know how Luke is doing the celebration, but I'm all for it. I like it. He's um, He seems very hype right now. He looks dead. 
Uh, he's, he's just so excited. It's so Jung here we go Wee. now. We're going to have a face-off here. Nick versus Notchus. Notch is going to get it now on the left side. He's going to cut in. Look for a shot there. Oh, my goodness. Oh he slides out of the way again. Lord have mercy. That, is, that is the second time that has happened. And the Blues VC is probably dead silent right now. Did I curse Creeper with what I, my comments earlier? I, is that the commentator's I, curse? I, I don't know. I don't think that's something that a curse would do. I I just think that's that's just a bad play. <laughs> um, I'm starting to I'm starting to think Papi would have saved that, but uh, we'll we'll, we'll see. Um, I mean, at least he didn't punch him and get a pen, I, I suppose. Now but we're gonna have a two-one game here. Sorry, with a very quick response, and we're right back underway. Two-one Hitmen early in the second. Looks like this was gonna be a zero-zero game for a while, but it's already two-one this early in the second. Emdervel. Um, Nick get with it behind the net, battling with Emdervel. Nick. Trying to cut in. Make something happen here. He's going to go on his own. Nick there with a shot there. He's going to get the rebound. He's going to get hit away. And that's going to be a penalty on the play. Not an auto goal, but definitely a pen. Yeah, that's going to be a... could have been a goal without the pen. That that's a good penalty to take. That's Yeah, that's a good penalty to take. I think that's a penalty shot, in my opinion. Nah, that's not a pen shot. Not a, it wasn't a breakaway. It wasn't a breakaway, but he was literally about to. Shoot the Blues are trying to call for the auto there. goal. The Blues. It, he, it'll be he reviewed. Was, it's he, was, be reviewed. he was not passing. That is not an auto goal. It took away. It took away a scoring chance. Like he could have. He could have scored a goal on the next if he had an extra second to hit the puck. So in my opinion, that's a penalty shot. Penalty for tripping. Was it Forpel who committed the hit? It was Forpel, uh, Yeah, yes. it was. Notches is going to serve here. We're going to have a uh, face-off in zone for the Hitmen. Power play here for the Blues. This is a massive chance for them to get right back in this game. They'll put Nick out on the kill. Probably a valid option. He's looked solid this game. He's yeah, got it's gonna be, uh, it's going to be... It's going to be Robbie against Luke and R-Doggy here. Uh, we're going to have to see something big come out of this first line for the Blues. Um, but Robbie Ruckus is definitely not a player to sleep on on, the on this penalty kill. He could definitely make a goal here. Uh, Robbie now bringing up the right side. He's going to try to get by, but Ardogi with a good stop there. He's going to try to bring it right back in. Robbie. Just going to play with it now. He's going to just kill time. Ardogi trying to play this out to Luke. Now, but Robbie Ruckus is going to get a breakaway out of it. Robbie Ruckus now up the right side. Battling with Ardogi, but a shot there. And it's going to be gloved by Creeper. We're not going to have a penalty on the play. He was behind the hash marks. And now we're going to have a face-off in zone for the Blues. They're going to have to stretch the ice out here if they want to get a chance on this power play. Luke. Here's a fun fact about Robbie Trying Robbie's to win this back. Piece. He's going to win it back, and our dog is going to have to take it up himself. Pass up here. Shot there by Luke is just wider than that. Luke recovering it now behind that. Penalty has been killed. And it looks like the hitman lucked out there on what should have been a goal. But um, they were able to kill the power play. Luke now, trying to bring this up, blocked by R-Doggy. R-Doggy now, trying to get by, but uh, Robbie Ruckus with a good recovery. Robbie Ruckus in the corner now, looking to pass this out to Notches. That he's going to take it himself, but it's going to get panged away by the Blues. Blues trying to bring this in. Luke battling with Robbie in the corner. Robbie's going to take his time with it. He's going to clear it up, and now R-Doggy's going to have to play some defense here. Ardog is going to make a good play, and he's going to look to get a shot off here. Shot there, blocked by Robbie, and he's going to recover and pass it over for Notches, and he's going to get off the ice. Notches now on the ice with two minutes remaining in the period. Great block there by Ardoggy. Uh, but Notches is going to recover it. Notches looking for a pass. He's going to get panged to Emdreville. Lucky play for the Hitman there. And that's going to be passed oh, up to Notches. Shot. Notches off the post, and that rebound is going to go right to the other side of the net. And Nick's going to have to try to get this out. Nick getting by Notches. Up the right side. Nick trying to drive into the middle. He's not going to get by. Emdreville. Trying to get through. He's not going to. Arax with a good block there. Arax actually had his best season by far this regular season. Career high, a point per game. Uh, Konechny now battling with Notches. Cutting to the middle there, but Emdervel's going to receive it. And Arax is going to dump that right back in. Notches dumping it into the neutral zone. 
uh, Nick with it in the neutral zone, trying to bring it right back in, but Memdurbel is just going to ride him into the boards and keep that out of the danger zone and once again. Him and doing a great job stopping any chances for the Blues here. Nick now with a chance, going to be blocked by Emdrevel, and Emdrevel is going to recover and try to bring it back the other way. This has been a, a very, a lot of this game has been played in the neutral zone. So we're going to see if that changes going forward. But neither team can really seem to get anything going or any consistent offense. And that's going to go hit out of play on the hitman. It's going to be in the blue zone. I think uh, the thing, what, what we can see that the Blues are trying to do here is they're really just trying to get generate P3 opportunities from the Shot line. there from Robbie. It's going to go just wide of the net. Nick's looking for his teammate. He's going to P3'd up. And Finn's going to take that, though, and try to bring it in. Finn, trying to get this shot off. It's going to go just wide of the net. Shot out. Pass out there for Robbie. Robbie the shot there. He's not going to get the first shot off, so the Blues have enough time to get in position and block that. Uh, Luke now walking across the zone. He's going to try to get by. Not going to go. And this is going to be a face-off in zone for the Blues once again. Another face-off here for the Hitmen to try to get a goal here off this face-off. Going to have Robbie and Emdravel on the face-off to end this period. And that's going to be a pass out for Emdravel. Emdravel the chance there. Trying to get the shot off. Sub blocked by Creeper. Robbie with the rebound. He's going to try to get their shot off, but Luke gets there in time to stop that. Our dog, he's going to pinch there, hit it right to Emdravel, though. Emdravel going to dump that right back in. And Luke now looking for a pass out for our doggy. Our doggy trying to get by. Pushing the puck into the zone. It's not going to get by. Cutting in, trying to get by Emdravel. It's not going to go. Emdravel p 3 it up the wall. Now Robbie gets it. Robbie driving in from the board. Shot there off the post. Saved by Creeper. He's going to ping that okay. away. He doesn't ping that out. I think that's a goal. And now we have a breakaway back the other way for Luke. Luke with a shot there off the post. And he's going to get that rebound. He's going to score 2 2 game. Seven seconds remaining in the second period. We're going to go into the third tide unless somebody gets a goal quick off this faceoff. That, is, that is quite that literally a game-saving save there by Creeper. They needed that. And Luke is going to do his celebration again. Oh, he's swimming this he time. He's and he's, he's moving. He's, uh, he is swimming. He, there he goes. Back to the locker room. There he, there he goes. <laughs> um... Uh, we got six seconds remaining on this uh, for this face-off. We're going to have Nick finishing the period for the Blues. 2-2. Two -two. Let's hope the Blues cannot concede a face a goal immediately. Pass out there oh, from Emmerville to Robbie. It. And they're not going to hit that shot. And that's going to be it for the period. 2-2 two -two going into the third. We're still tied. They tried the Ghosty Ferret play. Ghosty Ferret. Win it back to James. James p 3 is up. Ghost Ferret rips it from the blue line and scores. Works every time. That was a great around. period. It was a Two really good period. Team. I think also one of the, one of the things you got to remember with Robbie, like this man, he's four goals away from joining the hundred goal club, and so like he he's been around for a, he's been around for a while, and he's been able to do good things in the league. But he's did you say he's got two cups or one cup? Two cups. UP. Two cups. He, he's a he's a, so he's a veteran. He's been he's gotten two cups. Like he knows what to do. I think the thing is he just got to the point where he doesn't feel like he can get any better than he already is. And he really only he's one of those BHL players that really only comes on for game time mm -hmm. for the most part. I mean, beginning of the season, but, he was pretty active with scrims, putting in the work for his team. Yeah. But I mean, I you mean, notice the like... direct correlation. They stopped winning every game as soon as he kind of stopped doing that. I feel like a lot of people who aren't typically active during um, the season were active this preseason in particular. Yeah. Just because of all the new mechanics. Like all the hype and, and adjusting, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's definitely it's definitely um, a veteran team on the Hitman. Um, they all have plenty of uh, experience in the league. So we're gonna, uh, the, um, the period underway now. Robbie Ruckus, he's going to bring it in right off the faceoff again, looking for another early game. goal, but an easy save for Creeper. Our doggy's going to P3 this right up. Finn's going to recover it. Our doggy cutting across the defensive zone now, trying to get by Robbie. He, he's going to steal it, though, looking to get a shot there from a pretty bad angle. But you honestly never know with how Creeper's been playing this game. Both Blues players trying to clear this to the board. They're going to get it. Robbie still trying to drive to the middle. Great uh, save there by Creeper to just keep that out of danger. Luke now with a chance. He's going to try to beat Finn up the ice. 
Luke trying to cut in, but he's got two Hitman players on him, and he's not going to get that through. Pass out for our doggy. Our doggy trying to make a chance here, but he's not going to get through. But now Robbie Ruckus up the wall. Robbie with a shot there right into Creeper, and the rebound's going to get cleared right to the corner. Um, our doggy bring this, trying to get this up, but Robbie with a good curve right to Luke, though. Luke looking for his third of the game. It's not going to get through. Our doggy trying to turn there. He hits it right into Finn. Hit there by Ace Craven. No call on the play. I agree with that call. Luke looking for a pass up for our doggy. P3's up for our doggy. And he's going to hit it by our doggy trying to make something happen. But Emdervel's going to clear this pretty easily. And it's going to go back the other way for the Hitman. Hitman passing across. Not just trying to pass this back across. He's going to whiff. And he's going to drive up the wall now. Looking for another goal. Uh, Not just has his, has won on this game so far. Konechny trying to get this by. It's not going to go. Luke. Trying to get this through. It's going to be a shot there. Saved by Creeper. And now Luke's going to get it. Luke's been out there for quite a bit. He's going to need to get a change soon if he wants to play the rest of this game. He's on 11 stamina right now. About to drop to 10 very soon. Luke. And he's going to run off for a change now. A little bit risky, but it's going to pay off. And now Nick's going to cut into the middle. Getting by Notches. Nick cutting through. Trying to get by Emdervel as well. He's not going to go. He's going to ping it though and stop that. Um, Nick trying to get by Emdervel. Notches in his zone. He's going to try to get through. Trying to get by Arax, it's not going to go. Arax looking for a pass, hit off by Notches. Arax, once again, hit hit off by Notches. Cutting by, it's going to be a save there by Creeper. Notches looking for the rebound, it's not going to get through in time, as Nick's able to clear that. Emdervel covering it, bringing it behind the uh, his offensive net. Nick, bringing this through the neutral zone. It's going to get panged back by Emdervel to Robbie, and Robbie's going to have a lot of time to evaluate the play here. Arax applying some light pressure, it's going to get hit up to Marco, but it's going to bounce right over his stick. Robbie. Hanging this up for Emdervel. Emdervel's going to take a shot there. It's going to go just short of the net. And no chance of that going in. Our doggy hitting that up. Right to Robbie. Robbie's going to try to P3 that back in, but blocked by Luca. Now it's back in the hitman zone. Our doggy applying a little bit of pressure here. He's going to play some trap here, but Robbie's going to get right by. Robbie trying to cut through. It's not going to go. And our doggy's going to recover it and hit P3 off the boards to try to get this right back out. Two minutes remaining in the game, roughly. And Robbie Ruckus is going to keep in the neutral zone. Try to dance around a little bit. A little bit. But our doggy's not going to get by. Our doggy. Trying to get by Finn. It's not going to go. Finn playing some pretty good defense for how inexperienced he is in the BHL. But uh, all that non play playtime is paying off. Ace Craven trying to get this back into the neutral zone and get it out of danger. Our doggy's going to try to turn and cut into the middle. It's not going to go. Out for Luke, though. It's not going to get by. Now Robbie has a chance. Robbie on the rush. Both Blues players on him. He's going to shoot down. It's going to go wide. Creeper makes the ping anyway to make sure it doesn't end up on net. Pass out there to Finn. It's not going to get through. Shot there by Robbie. Blocked by our blocked by our doggy. I, Robbie and our doggy keep messing me up. Uh, Robbie now in the corner. I think he's going to try to kill time to get his limeade off the ice. Luke on eight stamina back on the ice here for the end of this game. It looks like they're going to play for Tio. He's going to get off the ice for Nick. Great change there. Pays off really well for them. Nick battling for the puck. And Eric's back on the ice, and that's going to go out of play. I'm surprised the Blues did not mess up any of those line changes. Those were risky. Great communication there by the Blues to uh, make sure they don't fumble. 2-2 um, two, two here with a minute 20 remaining. Next goal basically wins at this point, I'd say. I'm, I'm comfortable making that statement. Nick now on the left side. Looking for a shot there. It's not going to get through, though, as he gets held out to the outside. Emdravel behind the net. Bring it up. Pass up for Notches. Notches now with a break. Notches shooting. And that's going to go by. And that's going to get by Creeper. And he scores. Notches with a minute and se one second remaining. Five holes it right to the right side of Creeper. And we have a 3-2 game with a minute left. That one just barely got by Creeper. He, he missed he, just the edge of the corner, and it, it was just a perfect placement by Notches to get it in goal. Just in a phenomenal pass by Emdervel to get that that puck to Notches on the breakaway, and he's able to capitalize. This is going to be tough for the Blues to get back in this, but they've got a minute left, and Robbie Ruckus is not high enough on Sam to play right now, so they are going to have a little bit of time without the Hitman best player out. But we need Nick to get something going here. He's been kind of invisible this game when it comes to offense. Um, if they want to win this game, he's going to have to step it up big time. Nick getting the puck here. Trying to get by. P3 shot there. Pang by Emdervel. Weird bounce, but not going to get through nonetheless. Nick looking for Arax, I believe. Arax looking for a P3 there. That's why the night. Now he's going to push the four check. Hitman going to keep their second line on the ice for a little bit. Arax shot out there. Nick's going to keep that in. I don't know if the Blues are going to pull here. They might go for it. Um, anyway, Luke is on a little bit high stamp. 30 seconds remaining. They're just going to kill time. And now the Hitmen are going to bring it up. Luke on the ice. He's going to block that. Now he's going to try to bring it back in. 
They have Luke. pulled. And not just going to get off the ice for Robbie. It's going to be a pull against... Uh, it's going to be Luke, Nick, and Ardoggy against Robbie Ruckus and Emdravel here. It's 18 seconds remaining in the period. Ardoggy looking for a shot here. It's not going to get by. Emdravel hitting it out. And the Blues have 13 seconds remaining. He's in the neutral zone. He's going to have to make a play up here quick. Blocked by Emdravel. He's not able to get by. Ardoggy. Pass across right into Emdravel. Emdravel playing it great right now in the neutral zone. Ardoggy. One more shot. Shot there. Saved by Forpulsas. Rebound. That's going to go back out to the neutral zone. And there is a 1-0 series lead for the Hitmen after game one. Great game, game there. Phenomenal game by both teams. Great defense. But um, Blues just couldn't get through. We're going to have a great game too here, I believe. I, I can't see it being any... Uh, I can't see it being a blowout after that game. So we're going to head over to Saskatoon now. Thanks for watching game one. Um, we're going to be right back here for game two. Uh, see you all next time.